see, did anybody bring a food that they would like to work on with me today? <coughs> Hi, <Yes>. Shelly. <laughs> OK, good. And we have a fresh new can of Diet Coke for you. All right, so Shelly, you have a craving for Diet Coke. Is yes, that correct? I do. OK, and do you, have you ever tapped or done anything like this before? No. No, OK. And do you think I'm crazy, like, tapping on myself? And I don't. No? OK, cool. That's OK if you did, but um, I just wondered if I did. OK, yeah. good. Yeah. So how long have you had this craving for Diet Coke? Years. Years, OK. Yeah. Um, and do you, do you know what it is specifically about the Diet Coke? Is it, like, the opening of it? Is it the bubbles? Is it the taste? What is it for you? It's the, uh, the bubbles. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's kind of a, I don't know. It goes down to kind of, it burns. Uh -huh. I like that. It's like the burning sensation. I like sensation. the real sweet of it. Okay. Um, I have in the past used it to fill me up when I have tried to diet and mm. drink this instead of food. It's like filling the tummy because it, yeah. Kind of, yeah. And yeah. So it's the sweet, it's the burn, it's the bubbles. Okay. All it's that. like the whole experience of yeah. it. Okay, yeah. cool. So, um, so one of the things that I noticed is that when people crave specific foods, how many of these do you drink a day? I've been um, trying to abstain. Oh, so like none at all. Uh, On a bad day, what would you drink? Three. Three? Okay, yeah. that's a lot. But I've been abstaining. Cool. Pa but it's hard. But it's willpower, right? It's uh, yeah, like, it is hard. Yeah, it's okay. Hard. It's, See, and I don't hard. like that word willpower. Yeah. I like to... Um, I like to not have to use willpower. I like to be able to choose. So um, if you could have a choice as to whether or not you felt like Diet Coke, would that be, would that be cool for you? I would like that better. Yeah. I would like it to feel more like a choice and not draw me Not this like tug of war contest. Yeah, right. I should, I shouldn't, yeah. yeah. Cool, okay. Um, so one of the things that I notice with people who crave certain foods and drinks is that they have a... Um, they usually will have a positive memory or they'll have an experience with it with someone that they loved or during a time that was really positive for them. Can you remember anything about Diet Coke? Like, what was the first time that you had it? Who would you drink it with? I'm associating it with my mother, but I don't know how or why. Did she used to drink Diet Coke? I, I think it's more that uh, we would diet. It, we would, oh. it would be a connection to dieting. Yeah, okay. So... Right. So you grew up with your mother always dieting and trying all these diets. And well, or wanting me to diet. or Right. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's have you. So on a scale from zero to ten right now, as you just look at this, how strong is your craving for it, for the Diet Coke? Right now? Yeah. Moment, maybe just a three. A three. Okay. Maybe a three. So yeah. will you open it and taste it and just see if we can get it any higher than that? Yeah, I'm getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is something about like opening the can that people it's like the sound and the oh that's a fresh that is a fresh diet coke yeah yeah i used to be addicted to diet coke yeah, too I, can, it's I, I switched to fizzy water and i still haven't cleared that one for myself i just i just won't do it okay so um go ahead and have a little taste mm. and tell me on a scale from zero to ten how strong your craving is now higher Higher. Yeah. Like, let's give it a number. I like I'm getting anxious. I'm feeling anxious. <laughs> you're feeling anxious. Okay, I am. like I you're so like, like ah, anticipation, yeah. like I'm excited. Yeah, like look I at her, look at her face. Like you guys look at even yeah. her face lights up. Yeah. Right? And this is what happens when there's emotions stuck in the food. See, nothing changed, but she has this association with her and her mother, and it makes her so excited. So you can see the emotions right here. Okay, yeah. cool. This yeah. is gonna be awesome. So can I just take that yeah, for a minute? Please. Okay, so what's yeah. your number? On a scale from zero to 10, what, what would you say your number is? Right now? Yeah. Mm, it's higher than a five. Are so we, are we at a six? Are we at a seven? A six. A six, yeah. okay. So, um, okay, so what I want you to do is I'm gonna start tapping on you and I'm just gonna take you through a little visualization, okay? Okay. That, do you have a good relationship with your mother? Um, you did yeah. in the I, past? Um, it's, it was complicated, but at the moment, yeah. Okay, all yeah. right. So when you were a kid? Um, it was a difficult relationship. It was? Yeah. Okay. Um, so who were you close to when you were a kid? Was there a grandma? Was there a uncle, aunt, cousin, sister? Uh, if not, trees work. Trees work really well. A pet. My, a pet. A pet. A, a okay. A dog. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So what was his, his um, or her Misty. name? Misty. Misty. Her name was Misty. Okay, cool. Yeah. So um, about how old are you when you, um, I can, was when probably you think about Misty? Eight, nine. Eight or nine? Okay, yeah. cool. So I'm going to start tapping on you. And okay. what I want you to do is I want you to taste the Diet Coke in your mind. 
And I want you to feel all those good feelings of the Diet Coke. And we'll just pretend that the Diet Coke is still in front of you. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to do is I want you to imagine gathering up all of those good feelings, that mmm, that like totally excited feeling that you were just feeling. I want you to imagine gathering all of those up, just kind of like spin, like making this like circular thing over the, over the Diet Coke. And I want you to pull all of those good feelings and all that energy into your chest. Mm -hmm. And when it goes into your chest, it becomes like this big ball of light. And I want you to feel all those good feelings of the Diet Coke. And what I want you to do is I want you to see Misty, see the little Misty in your mind's eye. And I want you to pass this ball of light to Misty. Tasting the Diet Coke in your mind, feeling all those good feelings. And just watch as Misty gets this ball of light from you. And it makes her so happy and so excited and she just loves you so much. And then have Misty send it back to you this ball of light back into your heart. And you're just gonna sit here for a minute as you taste the Diet Coke in your mind, as you feel all those good feelings, just passing the ball of light from your heart to Misty's heart. And from her heart to your heart. Keep tasting that Diet Coke in your mind, feeling all those good feelings. Just passing this ball of light back and forth, back and forth. Feeling all those good feelings, feeling so loved and so comforted by Misty. And I want you to see your mom too. And this is your mom when she's having a good day and she's happy. She comes in and she says, hi. Hi, Shelly, how are you? And I want you to just pass this Diet Coke feeling from your heart to your mom's heart. And then when she sees it, she just like lights up. She's so excited to receive this from you. She feels all those good feelings that you feel. And then she passes it right back to you. So passing this ball of light from your heart to mom's heart, and from mom's heart to your heart. Tasting the Diet Coke in your mind, feeling all those good feelings. Good, so take a nice deep breath. Cool, how was that, was that good? Yeah, yeah. okay, so we're just gonna just see if this had any effect. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't, we don't know. So just go ahead and have another taste and tell me what your desire for it is on a scale from zero to 10. You were at like a six before. Do you have any sense of what you are now? Three. A three, yeah. okay, cool. So we dropped yeah. three points. Yeah. So, so what do you notice that's different about it now? Like before it was something and now it's something else. <laughs> Um, well, what I noticed is it tasted different. Right. I noticed, I noticed that. Yeah. And so I'm thinking, how is that different? So what did it taste like? It, uh, you can have another sip if you want. Less bubbly. Less. Less bubbly. Yeah. Okay. See, and that's the emotion. The emotional response is yeah. that bubbles is what triggers the, like, excitement, the fun. Yeah. And so we're putting, we're giving that back to Misty, the dog, and the mom, which is where these feelings came from. And so she's not tasting that so much anymore. What, what do you notice that you... Um, what are you still tasting about it? It's still sweet. The mm -hmm. bubbles are less, um, but it had the the going down thing. Mm -hmm. It's more bitter. It's not as so. It's not as pleasurable as it no, was. No, it's not as pleasurable. Mm. It's kind of disappointing, actually. Oh, <laughs> well, don't worry. <laughs> I, mean, I'm glad. I'm I promise. Glad. Yeah. You can have your diet coke back. Yeah, it's... I, no, I don't want to. <laughs> okay. I don't. So, so right now, um, what you do notice about it, and you guys, if you're tapping along, just notice what it is still about the food that you still crave. So, is it still the sweetness is a little bit attractive? What is what's still attractive about it? Like, how do you know you're a three? At this moment, it's not. I'm not feeling that attracted. It's oh, it feels. I feel less, less. Right, but you're a three, so there's still got to be something, something about this. So if you want to have another taste, you can. Um, is it the sweet? Is it the? It's the attachment to it. It's the attachment to the habit of it. Mm. It feels like that's 
Like, I don't want to let it go. Yeah, right. Okay, cool. Well, you, yes, you can let it go it. for just a, yeah. just a minute. Okay, so we're at a three. Okay, so I just want you to say that. I don't want to let this go. Say that out loud. I don't want to let this go. I don't want to let go of my attachment. I don't want to let go of my attachment. I don't want to give up this, my Diet Coke. I don't want to give up my Diet Coke. What will I do for fun? What will I do for fun? <laughs> How will I feel excited? How will I feel excited? I don't want to give up this Diet Coke. I don't want to give up this Diet Coke. This is my Diet Coke. This is my Diet Coke. Don't take it from me. Don't take it from me. I don't want to let this go. I don't want to let this go. I don't know how I'll feel good. Yeah, I don't know how I'll feel good. Yeah. My only happiness is in this Diet Coke. <laughs> My only happiness is in this Diet Coke. <sighs> but the truth is... But the truth is... This Diet Coke does not know how to love me. The Diet Coke does not know how to love me. And there's lots of exciting things in life. There are lots of exciting things in life. <clears throat> that don't involve Diet Coke. That don't involve Diet Coke. I give myself permission to find fun and excitement in other ways. I give myself permission to get fun and excitement in other ways. This Diet Coke can't be fun. This Diet Coke can't be fun. I can't go out and hang out with it. I can't go out and hang out with it. I can't have a party with it. I can't have a party with it. It can't talk to me. It can't talk to me. It's just Diet Coke. It's just Diet Coke. It just lays there. It just lays there. It doesn't have any feelings, no emotions. It just lays there. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So take a nice deep breath. Okay. So let's have a, take another sip. <laughs> So just tell me what you notice about it now. Um, I'm noticing that I'm not as interested in it. I okay. am noticing that. I'm trying to think. How? What does it taste like? It's not tasting very. It tastes sort of bitter. Bitter? A little bit. Okay. Little bit. Yeah. It, d it doesn't even seem like you really like it anymore. Like before, did you, do you see her, the change in her face? How her face was like, uh, now and she's kind of like. Yeah, like when you handed it to me, I go, oh, no, I got to. Yeah. Do this again. Okay. okay. So on a scale from zero to 10, what would you say your desire for it is? Even if you're a one. I don't think I have a, a one or a zero. A one or a zero. Yeah. Okay. How, should we call you like a point five? A point five. <laughs> yeah. And okay. it, it's because the can is cold. Oh, okay. Good. So look yeah, at her face. Okay. Uh, oh, that cold can. It's like a nice cold drink on a hot day, right? Yeah. Okay, I want you to think about that. This nice okay. cold drink on a hot day is nothing better than that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice cold drink on a hot day. Just love that cold can. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's nothing better than that. Mm -hmm. You see how there's all these different attachments that we have that are linked, that are layered on top of each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, that cold can on a hot day. Oh, there's nothing better than that. It's nothing better than that. Just love that. Who did you used to drink cold drinks on a hot day with? Uh, what can you remember? Like family barbecues? I, I remember or? family get-togethers. I do remember, yes, I do remember family get-togethers. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I want you to be there at, the, at, the, at a family get-together, and I want you to feel that cold drink in your hand okay. on a hot day. I want you to feel all those good feelings. And who do you want to send these feelings to? Uh, all the family members that are gathered there. Can you pick one? Um, yeah, a, a brother. I'll, okay. I'll send it to a brother. Cool. All right, so just take that cold drink in your hand on a hot summer day feeling, gather it up, bring it into your heart, and go ahead and pass it to brother. And just watch as he takes it into his heart. And he just feels so good. That cold drink on a warm summer day. And then he passes it back to you. Yeah. And just notice here that it's that connection with your brother. It's that feeling of love and warmth and comfort. Your connection with him, it has nothing to do with the drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you can feel that feeling right now. And we, 
you know, you're not with him. You do have a cold drink in your hand, but you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. So take a nice deep breath. Okay, so let's just try it one more time. Okay. Um, have another sip and just tell me what you notice. It, it doesn't have the same. Well, I don't feel excited. Mm. I'm not feeling excited. I, how does uh, it taste? What does, does it taste, it taste like? Taste? <clears throat> it tastes more chemically. Chemically, oh. like the sweet feels seems too sweet now. Yeah, mm-hmm. too sweet. So you see, what happens is when we take the emotions out of the food, she starts to see the food as it really is, which this is all chemicals. And so, but when you have such an, a strong emotional attachment to it, the emotions are so strong that it covers up the real taste of it. So you think it tastes totally different than it really does. And so when we take the emotions out and we give them back to the person that they came from or the people that we love, we can taste the food for what it really is, which is why once you do a lot of tapping, you'll naturally be at- attracted to healthy foods. Because the other stuff won't taste good anymore. You'll just be like, ew, it tastes like chemicals. I can taste the bag or the, you know, whatever. So that's the really amazing thing about this work is that you just naturally become attracted to whole, healthy, nutritious food because of this reason. Awesome. All right. Thank, thank you, you. Shelly. Do you want your Coke? I you can take know. it with you. No, Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> thank you. You're so welcome. Give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs>